today we have found the strat of the century. Yeah, uh, it's Donkey Kong strats. Literally. Yeah, Jumpman ain't got nothing on you if you do this strat. <laughs> so you move the box out of the way. You take this barrel, rush it over here. You put it in this corner as far back as you can get it. And you grab the other barrel. And you're gonna love what we do to this barrel. Flip it over on this side. Be sure it's on this side, or otherwise it'll be too far away like that. Yeah, you need to use the side that doesn't have a hole in it. Yeah, use this side that goes closest to you. You get up here, you move it close to this wall, and when you're in between about two, tw when you're just under two, eight twenty one point five, if you're under that and above eight twenty. Yeah. Just a little bit about yeah, 820. Minus 820. Minus 820 is the, the top left the position. Spot. My thing. Yeah. And then you just put the barrel at about positive 2.5 and 90 degrees. And yeah, it's similar to the crate when you go, like, you aim the barrel at 2.5 and 90, go ahead, wait for the barrel to make a noise. When it starts making a noise, you look sideways. Same with that, you will clip with a box, and it pretty much works every time. Keep in mind, you cannot do this strat if the barrel goes into the wall, because you won't have enough space to juggle the barrels or give you the correct angle. But yeah. My setup is, is I look at this dot and look slightly to the right of it. Yeah, if, you can, if, you can, if you can do this fast enough, it can save upwards of about a minute. Yeah, I would say a conservative amount would be like at the very minimum four seconds. All right. It depends if you can clip fast enough. It's sort of like yeah, a risk the, reward, like Town 05 is. Yeah, but they no. If but you they, use uh, two point five and ninety. If you use two point five and ninety. It works pretty well. Just need to be patient. Wait for the barrel to make a noise at at that coordinates and then start looking uh, left or right. Probably left, since if you clip to the right, it can push you out of the wall. And that that is crappy. So about like this here. Go into it. This should work here, this clip. And this is mainly the reason I don't think Be sure it's horizontal like this. You click it until it's on fire. You shoot it twice as in. And then you just look at about right there. Just pay attention to where my angle was. You should have about 1700 speed. And then you just void clip. Yeah, the, you will. F you can do a couple of saves before starting the void clip. Yeah. Because, uh, just ju just, to, make, just to make sure you goes. don't fly out like over there. Because that can happen, yeah. and you click it until it's on fire. You shoot it twice as in, and then you just look at about right there. Just pay attention to where my angle was. You should have about 1700 speed, and then you just void clip. Yeah, the, you will. F you can do a couple of saves before starting the void clip. Yeah. Because, uh, just ju will just to make just to make sure you don't fly out like over there. Cause that can happen, yeah. and as long as you make it to about right here on this pipe, and you're yeah. inside you'll, of it, you pretty much you, you know you got it. Yeah, you'll you'll start clipping alongside the pipe, and you will not lose height until you hit the wall. And, and if you do that, you get the clip pretty much every time. And now you just avoid the clip to the end of the level, skipping Tyrone and Manhack RNG. It's it's only three million save loads. Don't worry. Alright, let's check and make sure we're good. Yep, we are good. See, our destination is right there. We, we will start going up. Depending on your hardware, you might go up higher, you might go up lower. Yeah. One thing that might yeah. be able to help is capping your FPS or something. Well, uh, for me, um, it only works if I cap to 30. I've been trying different FPSs, and the only way I can get this clip to work, and the new Prismos Extract, is both being uh, capped at 30 FPS. Meanwhile, on my hardware, it doesn't matter if it's capped or not. Yeah, I think it's just a problem on my end. I don't think most people 
will have zero issues with it. Okay, GTX 970 and like a processor with several cores that'll probably work very similarly. Yeah, but I'm running a nice 7 4790K with GTX, GTX 970 and 16 gigs of RAM. My signals are pretty short though. Wait, I also have the game your setup's like the same as mine. What? I have a 970 oh, I and a, uh, eight, an 8 core AMD CPU. Uh, what Windows are you running? 10. It's the same as me. What the fuck then? Oh, I have no clue. I'll have to investigate. As you can see, we're almost we we have almost made it. Yeah, and you have several ways of landing. Depending yeah, on you can la either land on the roof and walk into the loading zone, or you can just save through the roof. Yeah. Let's say if you go too far and you're over the pit, you can just save onto the ceiling. Yeah. And then walk there, over to there, the. There are, there are two different one. ceilings. One one is at like minus eight fifty. The other one is at minus 600 and something, it's much higher. But if somehow you get a super high uh, clip at the end of the map, you can save that too by landing on the other roof. As you can see, we are right above the end of the level right here. As you see, we're at 691, and if... Right now, we can just clip straight through the floor and that'll be fine, but if you want to, you can just... Save clip to about 8.15. Save load down to about 8.15. And we should be able to walk to the end of the level on the roof. Yeah. Keep in mind, you if you walk too close to the edge, you can get stuck on the void again. Oh, so overshot it. I will. See, 8.15 is the number. So it doesn't matter because you can just go through the floor and run to the end of the level. Yeah, it's not like you need to walk on the roof like on Prison 6. You can just click down all the way. It's much easier. As you can see, boom. No man hack RNG, no man hack jump, unfortunately, because who needs skill at this game? No Tyrone. And no Tyrone. Boom. And also, oh, yeah. also, even though it may it may look like you have too low HP, if you can go through right there fast enough, if you can go right there fast enough without getting shot by the guards, there is some health packs up here. Yeah. Safe so is so the beginning of boatless be should be easy, should be fine. On your, on your health. Mainly because there's a health kit right here, and if you break this, you get even more. You don't have to break that box either, which is great. Yeah. And you see? Now you just do boatless, and you're good. Alright. GG. Alright, video's done. Okay, what now?